Yeah. Oh, yeah. This okay. looks like the right room. Okay, so this is where the bomb flower is. And then you go into the magma, and you have to climb all the way to the top. Okay. And there should be a crystal you can blow up. Suppose keep going? Or... I don't know. Unless there was that pseudo let. Oh, there. Did I just miss that? I, I guess so. Just throw it back on it? Yeah. <laughs> Works. Surprised it didn't blow itself up. I suppose this allows you to fly over where you couldn't go before. Yeah. I must have just missed this because it was important. Ah. Yeah, there it is. Right there. So this will Oh, I love us. the effect of the water streaming down the stone. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So there's the, there's the Horde Seeker. See? So now we can see every bit of loot that we missed in this dungeon. Which is to say, actually very little. And most Some of, of those might be health chests. Yeah. But a number of them might be. But uh, one or two of them are probably going to be what we're looking for. I'm going to grab the... I'm just going to grab the health chest here. I don't think there's anything else. So it stops confusing you? Yeah. More or less. Because this way I don't have to think about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so the the main problem when I'm asked, like, what weapon would I want? In real life, I don't know. Because, like, most weapon, most video game weapons are unreasonably difficult to use. Uh, and would it have to be, like, a fantasy weapon? Like, you gotta, mm -hmm. you gotta lay some rules down on me. Or I'm just going to get paralyzed by infinite choice here. Because, <laughs> like, if it was real life, then I'd want, like... I don't know. A, the Mega Buster. What do you mean by a Mega Buster? Mega Buster's awesome. What do you mean by Mega Buster, though? Uh, Mega Buster is Mega Man's weapon, Mega Man X. No, I I'm talking about melee. Yeah, so that that's why I'm like, throw me some, uh, throw me some oh. rules. I forgot about you... this thing. Yep. The pile of detritus on the ground. Uh, it's sort of a little bit of a hint. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's been a little while. Oh. This tells you uh, how many you've missed. I think there's a reward for finding all of them, but I don't oh. remember what it is. Uh, we're probably not going to be doing portals for a little while. Watch out! Okay, good. Yeah, I already, already knocked it out. Oh, I guess we just need to go over here. Um... Because, like, realistically, if I wanted to get a fantasy weapon... To use in real life, it would have to be something that I could pick up and swing. Mm -hmm. um. Well, it, it's one thing, for instance, uh, looking at, say, the group in The Lord of the Rings. How you have... I mean, I suppose most people use swords. Oh, uh, yeah, that's, that's actually a, another consideration. Magic weapons. Do, does magic suddenly exist for said weapon? No. Oh. Because I don't believe any of oh. them had magic weapons. I mean, Glamdring and, like, Sting, maybe. But they only told you if orcs were around. They didn't do much else. Mm hmm. Oh, so you need to get something on that crystal. Do you throw it in there? That looks good. You did it. You never got that one. One thing I never liked, uh, you know how, um, like, Legolas, how he had the, you know, two daggers and such? As cool as, like, rogues are with dual-wielding daggers, I just would always think that, wouldn't it have a disadvantage against swords? Uh, just because of length? Or anything with reach. Mm -hmm. Dual daggers can't do anything against, like, a good spear, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're still looking for something here. There, there's a piece of toilet armor in here. We gotta get down. How do we get down? Oh. It's all the way back over here. 
Okay, well, it's fine. Yeah, part of the reason why I'm uh, doing this is so we can get as many of those maximum health upgrades as possible. Because effectively, I think after this, I'm just going to save all of my uh, all of my blue souls that we get. Mm -hmm. And just buy non-stop healing, healing items so we can more or less just face roll uh, the boss instead of actually, you know, fighting him skillfully. We want to go down this hole. I'm trying to think of... The problem is, like, most fantasy weapons I almost never actually care about. Like, I know gun blades were really popular for a while for reasons. And what were they exactly? Could you just it was just like a the revolver. hilt a different way? It and... was just a revolver hilt instead of a... Uh, or, like, a revolver instead of a sword handle. And so you could... Well, uh, would it be a thing where you could cock it one way and it would be uh, a gun and then flip it up and then it would be a sword. No, it's like straight up you could point the sword like at someone. Yeah, tips huh. it at someone and it would just you could like Keep fire you. it. Weird. But no, realistically if it was something I had to use like in real life, I'd probably want like a mace or like something really heavy or made out of mithril. Like something I know that won't just break. Mhm. Mm Mithril doesn't exist. Well, most of these fantasy weapons don't exist. No, I know. Well, wait, no. All of most of these fantasy weapons are based on something real. Yeah. Like this would be almost claymore levels of massive. No, this is bigger than a claymore. Claymores are thin. Claymores are are thinner than this. Yes. Man, I can't imagine claymores. Have you ever seen the ones with two hilts on them where you're supposed to hold between? Yeah. Like different sections of it and. Poof. Oops. We're supposed to go back. One thing I've always wondered about are like sickles or hooked weapons and how those function in combat. Um. They're f uh, so a lot of sickles, the only thing they're really good for is getting around shields. Uh, cause you can- you can hook the shield and pull it down. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, sometimes people can hook blades with them, too. This is true. Uh, but remember right in Dark Souls, there was a spear that once you broke it the first time, mm -hmm. it became unbreakable after that. I don't know. Really, just in general, if I had to use a, uh, fantasy melee weapon, I'd want something that breaks super slowly one because i hate durability systems and two <laughs> uh because like if i if i'm being forced to use a melee re weapon for any reason uh oh there's actually a sort german sword pistol in the 1580s huh. wild it was probably terrible did i just miss this i guess i did oh huh. i mean if you even think about it there were bayonets on yeah. the end of rifles oh, yeah. Way back in the day. Well, bayonets were practically necessary for a lot of things. It's a way oh. for you to make them into spears. When the troops advanced or something. Okay, uh... Huh. Shell, can you look up... Yeah? Abyssal Armor Piece Guide. Because I think we've actually got everything here. We could have gotten everything in there. Yeah, I don't see anything else here. Let's see, they're also axe guns. Yeah, I've heard of the axe guns before. Okay, so there's one in the Twilight Cathedral. I think we already got that one. One in the Scalding Gal Gallo. It's the Blue Geyser. There's a second one in the Scalding... From Samael's platform, head south to the destroyed building. That was the that was the first one we got tonight. Okay. The drowned pass. A waterfall pours into a Look lake. At a list of them? There's the a cave south of the waterfall and deep under water. Did you go underwater to that one? Which one? In the drowned pass, there was one underwater. Uh, south of the waterfall. I don't know actually. There's another one in the Drowned Past. Uh, uh, drown, Drowned Past. Complete all four shadow arenas and t talk to the gate. Okay, well that one you should have probably yeah, already we're, gotten. Yeah, that one's plot required. The Hollows. 
Yeah, for anybody that knows where the remaining pieces are, uh, feel free to tell us uh, where they are as long as you know which one. There's flooded we're tunnels. Missing. It's in a nook along the northern wall for the hollows. Southwest corner of the map. In a hole. The iron canopy. You have to use the chronosphere to grapple up to a yellow hook. Hmm. I don't remember how we came down here. I think it's this way. The Ashlands. I should have been paying more attention to when. Where, when where we, we got through. all the other ones? Yeah, that's to the some one degree. issue with these. The Black Throne. Oh, have you done this with portals? Right, to the right of this room? Oh, this door. Or, no, 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 this is this is how we exit. Okay, so you got the one in Eden, most definitely. Left when you go out. Wait, is this the exit or uh, where an armor piece is? Because that's... That's that's my concern that I'm missing something from here because I know how to I vaguely remember how to leave oh, I thought you were looking for the exit now. I just want to make sure that there isn't a uh, abyssal armor piece here it Was in the above floor, okay? Yeah, I think I I think I already got the abyssal armor uh, from the Twilight Cathedral One thing I've I've been really enjoying about modern games is they actually give you like a per area percentage. Remember that in Ori in the Blind Forest? Mm -hmm. Where it would tell you like exactly like, yeah, you have 100% uh, completion rate on this zone. So you knew? Yep. Like what you that were missing? That was the one thing that prevented me from finishing. I I'd finished all Metroid Prime 3 and I'd gotten the trilogy so I could go back and play 1 and 2 when it was released on the Wii. And I was so close to beating uh, 1 but I refused to get onto the final level to defeat the final boss and everything because I knew that I had all the scans up until that point that I could possibly get. And I had only about like eight, maybe six, maybe six, now that I think about it, more pickups out of the hundred. Yeah. And if I, ah. Uh, it's so, so frustrating because you can only use sound cues. So this was the Twilight Cathedral. Uh, what's the next location I should be heading to? Drowned Pass? Yeah, the Drowned Pass had two. Okay. I mean, there's also the Scalding Gallo by Samael. I think we got... I think you got that one? I... Drop over the ledge, land safely for yeah. your little armor piece. Yeah, because that's, that's the thing that's literally below him. There's another one also with Samael's platform. Head south, red crystal bombs. It'll topple over a column to create a ramp, and there'll be a chest with the abyssal armor piece inside. Have you knocked over a pillar to get an abyssal armor piece? I don't think so. I'll head for the drown pass. There's a uh, there's a thing in the area anyway. Okay. Yeah, you might want to also figure out the, the whole pillar thing. Because that might be something. Yeah, realistically, as long as I go into every zone, it should be pretty obvious where I, what I've missed and where. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, at least. I really like these chain crystals. I don't know what they are. Yeah, the little Vulgrim locations. Uh -huh. Oh, Drowned Pass. Yeah, of course. There's a ton of stuff around here that I haven't done yet. Right, because so you didn't have the, the punchy ability yet. battle is before you. Whoa, what's that? Oh, yeah, you can swing. Uh, yep. So there's this here. Ah, uh, yeah. Another lifestone. Yeah. And then the sword piece is right there, but we'll leave that for a little bit. Yeah, you need to get over to... Yeah, so I, I bet we're missing the other abyssal armor piece from this section. So mm -hmm. let's head for that first. All right, I think there's the fish underwater that are going to nibble at me. Oh, really? Yeah, but I don't care. Can you attack them at the very least? Yeah, easily. Uh, They're very weak. There's a bunch of them, admittedly. <laughs> but whatever. Now, I'm trying to think. 
It would be very difficult to swing anything underwater, wouldn't it? Very, yes. I've tried. <laughs> it's not easy. I think this is entirely just so you can get around, or maybe... Ah, uh, yeah. Maybe it gives you, like, a... Oh. Uh-huh. A wrath... Wrath shard. Wrath meter. It's just a loop. Yep. Hmm. I'll admit this is generally probably one of my favorite parts of games like this. The, like... Flooded areas? No, 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 no. The, uh... The... Multi-tiered. Yeah, kind of the, you've been here before. Uh, so where's the other one from the Drowned Pass? Well, there were... Because I, I got to drop a pillar somewhere? No, that was the Scalding Gallow. Oh, we'll so check that in a bit, though. the Pass was the north tip. There's a waterfall that pours into a lake, and in a cave just south of it, you had to head deep underwater. And the second one was complete the shadow arenas. So it's pretty much this so underwater one. This is one. probably. Oh, hold on. There might be something over here. That just looks like it goes back above the. Huh. Well, oh, you found something else. It was a thing. Now, what did the soldier artifacts and the champion artifacts? They're just do? worth souls. Oh. They're not very exciting, unfortunately. Yeah, so it was saying the northern part. Yeah, we're in the northern part, so maybe this. Under a waterfall. I would think that you would have gotten this, though. Maybe not? It just seems so empty. Yeah. Sim, swim through it and eliminate the enemies on the other side before accessing a chest. Oh, there it is. But that's not the chest. No, it's a different chest. I really wish there was like an overworld map that I could pull. Oh, I think maybe you need to go... To, what? Where are you standing right now? Here. Maybe it's that side thing? Or... No, that's what yeah, we just I, were. Yeah, I did every other branch here. Okay. So... Unless there's another chest in here. We're probably no, barking this, up the wrong tree. This looks like this is it. Yeah, it's in the far corner. Here? Huh. Maybe we already got that one? Maybe already did. The Fury's Embrace, back in the Black Tower, should show all map items. Uh... Which one's the Black Tower? I thought the Black Tower was the tower that we were in, the Black Throne. Did we get... Did we miss that? Well, why don't you check the Scalding no. Gallow? Here, why don't you look up how to get uh, Fury's Embrace? Because if it's... Mm. Samael's platform. Okay. Because, yeah, I'll, I'll grab the uh, sword shard here. Because that's easy enough, but I, I guess if we find that, that'll help. Oh, stupid fish. Get out of here. Get out of here. This is my lake now. Not yours. Okay. Thank yeah, you. this one is in the black throne on the way to the top of the first tower. The one on the far right of Azrael. Oh. Oh, there's that over there. Yeah, it's just a materializing bridge. Yep. Yeah. Here? Where? Hmm. Hmm. Just trying to find your way up? Yeah. It's a bit mazy. Unless we're supposed to jump from somewhere. Actually, you know where you did the grapple point? I'm surprised you couldn't oh, use it Oh, shadow to... grapple. Yeah. That would do it. So, like... He's so casual in water. Mm-hmm. Oh, I always hated doing that when I was swimming. Uh, angling my head so I could see, like, in front of me. Mm -hmm. Like, it makes it... 
he makes it look so easy, but for me, it's just like, I don't, I can't do that without like giving myself a headache. Then again, the curve where your neck meets your back is a little bit much, I would say, just from how you sit and how you stand. And then you, of course, crack your neck. Sorry. <laughs> it. There stiff. you go. But, you have to oh, be using the mass power in order to see Yeah, I, I guess using the grappling hook reset the whole thing. Okay, so three remaining. There's those guys over there, but I don't think that's that helpful. Yeah, so know. that one was by the waterfalls to the north, so you must have gotten it, I suppose? I... I suppose? Uh-oh. Yep. Okay. You've already gotten that one. Yeah, it's mostly I was trying to get a good angle on it. Because we wanted to go back to Volgrim. Now, is there something on the other side through that hole? What would you ask of this uh, yeah, I mean, there's like, there's enemies to fight if we want to fight things. Mm. But let, let's go to, let's go back to the Black Tower. Uh, let's see, so let's, let's just go over here. So how many pieces wander missing? Out? Yeah, we're only missing two. And I wasn't keeping track of the ones that I was missing, and I don't exactly want to, like, look up the YouTube guide and, like, try and cross-reference from <laughs> what I've found. It's, it's annoying. I mean, we've got a ton of things to backtrack for. Wander, you stream between 2 and 9 a.m. for you, and it's super hard to follow us. Yeah, unfortunately, we are in central U.S. Pretty much no matter what, it's going to be awkward with timing. Luckily, that's what YouTube's for. Like I always say that YouTube is YouTube is the best place to. I never I never came up here. I'm a <laughs> moron. YouTube is the best place to watch me. Twitch is just kind of funsies. Well, the thing is, you use your Twitch footage for YouTube. So. Yeah, I actually got a comment on that recently for like Mother Gun. Was it Mother Gunship or was it one of my other series? I don't know. But effectively, uh, somebody was commenting on the fact uh, that, you know, I have, like, really odd content or, like, low videos or, you know, maybe it's the amount of stuff I put out. I don't remember. You know, low kind of videos? Usual. What do you mean by or low? Not low videos, low views per video. Brain was jumping head there a bit. I, I think people are just confused by sub count versus watch. Well, most YouTubers like have long since moved away from the traditional uh, Let's Play method. There's a couple that do it, but compared to what it used to be, uh, like traditional style is is much what, much what less common. What would you common. consider traditional? I mean, more or less, what I do is about as traditional as possible. <laughs> I mean, except for the fact that I'm streaming. So, are you saying things that are more preferable nowadays would be the highly edited? Yeah, highly edited. Honestly, only highlights. Uh, it's not always just highlights, but I high editing, high energy. I've a lot of instructional energy. videos. Uh, it's Fortnite. It's all Fortnite. Eh. It's funny because we actually played Fortnite in its, what was it, its yeah, beta? Yeah, we played Fortnite before, any, before everybody got, like, really excited over it. And we played it for a bit with Bird and Keith, and let's see, we were just collecting new characters, collecting new items. It was always, I mean, it was nice getting that llama and smacking it to see what was inside. But at the same time, I I never like games well, that seem pay to winny. The PvE was it was bad on launch. Yeah, the PvE. That's like that's the thing. Most people only care about the PvP mode. Yeah, we're not we're not PvP people. Nope. I have never been. Probably never will be. But, so, I don't know, people are generally surprised when they're like, This guy has, like, 1,000 to 2,000 views for video. His channel's dead! <laughs> like, seriously, that is a very common thing that people more or less say about my channel. I'm like... I think I it's because people are used fun. to the larger YouTubers that have yeah, a Yeah, Game Grumps hundred. that have, you know, a couple million subscribers and hundreds of thousands of views per video.
I mean, also, you put out a lot of videos for a number of series, and people are probably only interested in half, if not... Yep. Okay, so where's, where's Fury's Embrace? It was to the right of Azrael's. Oh. Yeah. There it is. I really wish there was like a warp out button that you could do. Like warp that's, to the nearest Vulgrim shop. That's what Furore's Wind was sort of like. Yeah. I was, uh. I was playing Octopath, actually, earlier today. Uh, a little bit of grinding, whatever. And, uh. There are no grapple points, or are you gonna have to do the whole I think I gotta go rigmarole around. with the I crystals? Oh. Think... Oh. oh, wait, teleports. Two. Yeah, but I don't think I can teleport this one. Like, the whole, the whole puzzle got reset. Mm. Uh, so, gotta reset that down. I mean, if we do see a warp point on the other side, but no, we gotta change the other side too. But yeah, I, I've been playing Octopath. Uh, I played it for like half an hour today. Uh, just because it was just like, well, let's let's go see if I can do some of the like grindy, less interesting things. Ah. Okay, so that, that will save me t some time. Uh, but then, but then, I really wish there was like a radial menu instead of like, because there's six. Just give me six options instead of this like dumb D-pad. Uh, let's see. Oh. Oh. Why is I'm it not sorry. aiming? Why don't you... Well, that's stupid. Huh. Yeah, I get closer to it, I suppose. Yeah, that has an invisible wall. Great. I grab this one. No. <sighs> they should have made that targetable. Why would they even put it there? Uh, it's for the laser. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. There we go. But yeah, just being able to, like, backtrack around. Oh, right. Octopath. That's what I was talking about. So, Octopath lets you warp out of any location back home. Freely. No questions asked. Mm -hmm. It is so nice. Uh, oh. Ugh. Hey, look at all those points. Hey. What you can do is you can... Can you do that? Make a portal there, and then make a portal up there on the left, and then oh. shoot yourself out and over. Oh, that'd be awkward. I don't. I think. I that's... don't trust it. Oh come on, try it. No. I don't trust this game but with now like you tricksies sweet. like that. Yeah. I no like that. These gates here are probably invisible oh, walls. Oh, invisible walls, probably. Okay. I never think I'm gonna make that jump. But I guess you can. Okay. Uh, b -b 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 -b. But yeah, so I was like in the middle of a dungeon that, you know, was going to be a pain to leave, and I was just like, warp out. And I did. I just warped right back out. And it was like the nicest feeling in the world. And I wish more games would, uh. At least the enemies don't respawn. Actually, let you do that. That's actually... I don't know if I like that or not, to some degree. They respawn in certain areas. I... I'm... You wouldn't want to do these <sighs> battles again. No, it's true. It's... So part of... Part of the reason why I'm, like, a little hesitant to fully agree is just the fact that, uh, there are, are like... I don't know if it's possible to get enough, uh, souls in the game to buy every upgrade. And that feels really weird to me. Like, the completionist in me is, like, buy everything. Mm -hmm. But, like, there's a very specific reason why I pretty much went full-on on use this sword. Mm-hmm. Okay, so where... Where's the chamber with the... We went there? too high. I think I might have to fly or, like, hook across or something. We'll see. 
Mm, this only looks like oh, it goes no, no, up no, no, no. further. Uh, you might be right. We might have to take a different route through. Yeah. That just leads you to the boss chamber. Yeah, so we gotta take the uh, elevator down. The pressure plate bridge section. Oh, the textures in there are really pretty. Mm hmm But yeah, I guess we gotta, like, kind of take the elevator up or something like that. Okay. Uh... Now, wasn't there that big crystal or thing down there? Or up there, I should say. Yeah, I just think... We probably just have to go up this staircase or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's this whole rigmarole. Seems to slope up and around. Okay, uh, so then we have to get across to that. Over on the other side. Oh. Oh, right, right, right. Easy enough. Pressure plane. Okay, and that's, that's the one that just gets lifted up. We want to just keep going higher here? Uh, oh, do you need to take that bomb orb somewhere? No, it, it might actually be this. That elevator? Yeah. Bring it back? Or can you last... Wait, is that it no? It comes that's... back down after a certain point. Hopefully. Why don't you try jumping through and flying somewhere? Oh. Right. Okay. Grab onto that. What's oh. this? Oh. Yeah. <gasps> Barely got that. Spooky. So is it up there on the left? Yeah, it's up uh, on the right. On the right. Okay. So is there a phantom hook, or what do you need? Oh, no. What? Oh, that. Keep running. That's awkward. Oh, you should have done it on though. the other side. Oh, oh, unless it's one of those where I have to charge it. Well, no. I'm probably fine. Yeah, go figure we didn't spot it. That's okay. a little out of the way. Oh, yeah, and this is going to create another platform. Yep. Aha. Uh -huh. This is dirty, go figure, we didn't spot it. And there it is, Fury's Embrace. A legend this legendary artifact dramatically boosts wars, something Wrath Generation Wrath and generation. shows everything on the map. So we want to go... Oh. There's legendary Oh, it's considered legendary. Uh-huh. Taking the shortcut back. Yeah, might as well. I was like, I can make that. I'll be fine. I forgot about the other legendary enchantments. Crap. So we're missing four more enchantments. Ah! <laughs> so much missed. Oh, you thought that that Fury's Embrace was the last one in the ones that you had on the left side, but then it uh, ended totally up forgot about the other appearing section. on the right side. War, death, and strifes as well. Wait. Oh, you didn't go far enough. No. It's boosted though. I guess I just have to fly or something. Damn it! Oh. Okay, give me a second. That's too long of a walk.
There we go. And I don't even remember where to get all of them. Okay, so now... Well, no. Now that's conclusively the last of everything. Because we already had the compass for this area. Mm -hmm. So really, the only other things that I think we're missing are... Uh, in the iron... Uh, I guess really we should just go back to the previous... Uh, well, I know the there were dungeons. two by Samael, so... If you wanted to check to make sure that you had gotten both of the Abyssal Armor pieces from his yeah. area... No, it'll, it'll make it faster. Just having this will make it so much faster. And I mean, worst comes to worst, we can just be like, well, screw it, let's just go fight the last boss. <laughs> yeah, I was never one to get ev absolutely every single heart piece. I don't either, but the Abyssal Armor was important, and this is going to make it easier. Even though we probably would have found both... Uh, Pieces of the Abyssal Armor had we gone elsewhere, but whatever. Oh yeah, I remember going out of my way to get the Biggeron Sword and the Magic Rupee Armor. I, I hated the Biggeron Sword because it kept breaking. Well, I think that was like the fake one. There was like a better one that never broke. Yeah. But you had to do everything timed in yeah. just a specific Fun fashion. Fun fact, Speedrunners actually use the Giant's Knife, the broken Biggeron Sword, uh, oh. as their primary weapon. Interesting. At least uh, last time I checked. Because hmm. there's something about how it calculated damage that it was like four times as much with one of the attacks. Like just a basic jumping attack or like a parry or something. Oh. And so they're just like, yeah, so we're going to go. Goodbye, Master Sword. Yeah, we're going to go get the bigger on sword like really, really early on. Right, before we even like get a metal sword, really. And they did. And it was silly. I really like watching speedruns. Unfortunately, I just don't know if I'd ever be like in a position to learn it. I don't think I'd have the patience. It seems like they they talk about tricks and things that other people have established and that they've practiced. Like the guys were saying, oh, usually this takes me more than two times. This is great. And I'm thinking to myself, huh. Yeah. It's just a matter of like the consistent practice would be tough. I can understand why people do it, especially for 2D platformers, because time is often an incentive in those. True. For finishing a level. For 3D games, though, I enjoy the scenery. 